the Excel index function, this is what we are going to look at in that video. And in this example, we are selling Apple products in various stores and the table is already sorted by the highest revenue. Further below, we have a drop down menu with the numbers one, two and three. So this is basically the bestseller rank. Number one corresponds to the highest revenue in 2022 and now if we would for example select number two then we would want to get the detail of the second best selling item so what item is it and also the revenue of it and by the way if you want to know how to create such drop down menus you will find the link in the video description so let's now look at the index function first of all since it is a function we type in equals and then we type in index now when we type also the opening bracket you can see the first thing we have to pass is an array and the array is the complete data set in which our values will be contained then the next function argument is the row number and since we want to get the second best selling item here it is basically the row number two so we can select the number two here it is the second row and for the column number which is our third function argument we basically have to count the columns now so since we want to get the item name which is the column d we will count one two three four it is the fourth column we type this in there type the closing bracket hit the enter key and you can see the second best selling product is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And now what we are going to do is to copy this formula. So highlight it, press Ctrl and C, then press the escape key. Now we click into the revenue cell. Again, go into the formula bar, press Ctrl V to copy the formula or to paste it. And when we click in here, the array is again the same. The row number is also the same since we still want to get details about the second best selling item which is still row 2 but the column is not row 4 anymore because we want to get the revenue. The column now is number 5 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it is the fifth column. So we simply exchange the value to number 5, press the enter key. And now you can see the iPhone 13 Pro Max made $76,000 in 2022 so far. And when I change the value in the drop down field now to let's say the third best selling item, we can now see it is the MacBook Pro 13 inch with $72,600. And that's it for the Excel index function. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to hit the like button on the video. Thank you very much and I see you in the next one.